bandits can shoot a jet that flies at 50,000 feet. No plane flying over Nigeria is safe. Renault. A few days ago, we received reports on how bandits shot down an alpha jet in Nigeria. Though it's been a few days now, many people are still wondering how the bandits got the weapon they used. Bandits have been terrorizing Nigerians almost every day for more than six months now. Them attacking a village is no longer news, but they surprised everyone the moment they shot down an alpha jet. Renault Mokri shared a tweet earlier on his on this that he he urges Buhari to snap out of his Igboho fixation and acknowledgement and acknowledge that no plans flying or no planes flying over Nigeria is safe. Renault Mokri said the Alpha jet that was shot down by bandits cost close to a million dollars and its flies are fifty thousand feet. If bandits can shoot it down, they can shoot any jet in Nigeria down military or civilian. Um, I wonder what the federal government are planning to do about this for bandits to acquire a weapon that can shoot down an alpha jet. That means they have more tricks up their sleeves. 100%, absolutely. It's 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 scary because Nigerians are not reacting to this. I don't think we have a sense of urgency of what is really going on in terms of understanding the reality of the fact that um, this country could go up in flames in any minute and we're just out here operating on vibes. So I'm not really sure. So again... Things are severely getting worse by the moment and no one is really doing anything. So in my opinion, again, I think when the people are ready for a change, they are ready. I don't think Nigerians are now ready for change, to be honest. Um, because I just think that as organic as it was, and I think it, the NSAS process you know, the NSAS process showed that because it was just so organic, like they don't need to tell you what is going on. Nobody needs to come and remind you that go and protest. You yourself, you carry yourself and go and protest. Even though, yes, you might not go and protest, but you understand what is going on. And you would probably protest online or try to educate people around you of what is going on. Because you, you all relate and you have a common cause. Some people are just compromised. People are living different lives. And I, and I, I, I don't know. I think that there's no sense of urgency right now. Maybe because Nigerians are still cruising. Not going to lie. And things will get worse. Um, but again, you can't really stress yourself because when the people are ready, that's when they're ready, okay? Because this is not a one-man job. It's a team effort kind of thing. You can't rush people's progress to get to where you mentally want them to be. You cannot. So again, all this should create panic, but no one is panicking. Not panic in a way that is unproductive, but panic in a way where you find solutions immediately. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, if bandits can shoot a jet that flies at 50,000 feet, no plane flying over Nigeria is safe. 100 percent and i'm sure that the international community has not really said anything about this because a lot of international flights may be like you know what we're not going to nigeria absolutely not um especially if you're coming from places in which you have to pass through the north and then go to the south if you're coming from under i don't know how places work but it's it's more likely that you you're coming from um yeah, you're coming. Yeah, if, if you want to go to the south of Nigeria, you have to go through the north, except you have to some other ways. But it, it it just is what it is like that. So yeah, again, when Nigerians are ready to you know fight, not fight, but confront this issue, they are ready. I, you can't you can't tell them by themselves. They will get up and do what they need to do. So there's no there's no need to stress it. The fact is, and the consequence of you know waiting and not having a sense of urgency very early on is that the fight will get 100 percent harder again the fight is already hard as it is and it's better to start now but fighting then at that time things may get so worse that our lives that we're holding on to we would not value it anymore because <laughs> it's not valued where it is um things will get so worse and i just don't even care if they die in the process of you know getting their rights on anything and that's is probably where it's going to get to before a change will actually happen so yeah uh someone says i get surprised when people advise the federal government to do something about the insecurity in the country uh and not in particular the government is the main supporter of insecurity in nigeria <laughs> let's be honest uh let's not pretend like we don't know this government leaves may 2023 some quiet nigerians will start ranting at the top of their voices please let's understand that people already know the cause of the present problems in the country today thanks um 
not up to 50,000 feet with search a Renault and it depends on the type of plane that determines the level of height it can reach. So what? So what? Like, so what? Even if it's one, one, one feet off the air, and it's, it's still dangerous anyway. Let's not pretend like as if it's a crystal on the rise. And so it's not a thing of, okay, fine, the, the uh, numbers. When it comes to insecurity, our, our assumption was it's happening on land. You know, we are on land, we are not safe. You know, um, on, on, la- on sea, I, I don't know, we haven't, we haven't gotten there yet. But we know that on land, we're not safe. And for how many years, we have been dealing with insecurity on land. And now, forget about the kind of plane it is. Whatever type of plane it is, we don't care. The fact is that it was in the sky. <laughs> and the fact is, we don't even care the make. There, the air is now a target. That is the main point. Even if it's a hot air balloon, it is a target. So again, it, it doesn't still matter if they are if they are targeting to reach planes at that altitude. Then, um, yes, <laughs> panic. Somebody here says the issue of mandatory has gone beyond rhetorics. The governments need to buckle up. <laughs> are you the one to tell them? Uh, why is this people always talking to dead souls in the grave? True talk, 2023 is still far with all this security. And it's like, we are still going to complain of the next government, be that it's, our, it's actually our choice. We are still going to complain because the compounding issues that are happening right now, it doesn't just take a year to solve. The next administration may not even start on their own plans. It will be plans of dismantling what nigeria was and trying to make a new nigeria and just the dismantling alone not the solutions the dismantling alone how i don't know somebody says please you should fly higher like an eagle <laughs> these people the basic weapon that flooding herdsmen have is an ak-47 that is the most basic that they have so that imagine that the funds that they get from ransoms and all that imagine what they're doing with it literally so if the basic weapon they have is an ak-47 then of course they will have you know equipment that is so advanced that they can they can have better than to shoot planes in the air obviously sad it is a reason for us to panic but it is what it is. God will keep us safe. At the end of the day, sometimes you have no other choice but to look <laughs> to your God. But what you think about it, it's in the comment section below. Don't forget to like us.